we've all seen the world change and change significantly. Businesses have evolved, people have evolved, and of course, supply chains need to evolve to respond to the change in consumer, customers, and businesses. Recently, we conducted a survey of uh, 500 global leaders uh, in conjunction with the World Economic Forum of what is the supply chain of the future going to look like? And they had some great answers around that. The three things that jumped out was cost will continue to be important, service critical, but in addition to that, resilience and agility are an important element. And we looked at resilience from multiple different angles. We were, in terms of what does it mean to be resilient? And there are two critical uh, sides of this story. One is ability to respond to demand shocks. On the positive side or on the negative side, what do you do if demand shoots up 200% or drops 80%? On the supply side and your ability to find the raw materials, the manufacturers, the labor, the transportation networks to make it work. Together, we think about them as value at risk. And as we looked at resiliency from multiple angles, eight dimensions had jumped out. There's a couple that are really interesting that we'd like to highlight. One is product platforming. How is the product designed uh, to reuse a lot of components and build rapidly? Another one is around using your financial strength to make the supply chain more resilient, in addition to the classic elements of a supply chain that goes from design, planning, making, and delivering. As we put all of these things together, one thing that has jumped out is think about them all together versus fixing a supply and then finding that you're not able to transport it. Fixing or leveraging your financial strength, but not being in the right geography. And we find that as you put all of these things together, the supply chain of tomorrow, which is cost, service, and resilient will emerge. It's an exciting new journey and the supply chain of tomorrow awaits us.